Okay, Chuck and I are, are over in a different section of the labs, and Chuck has all these alum lead batteries here connected, and one master alum battery that was done a long time ago on a video, and he's got um, the kit motor that was given to us at the show of which Chuck made so there's some changes in the motor um, no generator coil um, SCR discharge capacitor dump and so you can say what you're okay so um, what I'm doing here is with this Allen battery I'm gonna show you charging this um, lead acid battery so Doing it one-handed here. So we got the motor running and the cap dumping. Uh, I haven't checked the voltage yet on it, charging that. Now what I was going to do was show you guys charging all these Allen batteries in series. But when they were dead, my SCR and everything fired right away. But within three minutes of running, the SCR latched. So I started experimenting with my Zener diodes and the lights, uh, LEDs, to try and balance the impedance out. And I haven't quite got that yet because they were literally charged within about three minutes. So uh, we'll be back in a minute here. I'm going to switch wires and show you that. So here we are running again, guys. And this time... You can see the SCR is latched, and the voltage is way up there already. So you don't need to fire it with the arm because it's just transferring. Yeah, it, it charged so fast. I mean, it was it was right up there, and you can see it's it's getting up there in a hurry. Let it go all the way up for him. And we were at uh, I was at about 10, 10 volts on all these in in series here, and then. When I started running it, I was getting the capacitive dump. So all the camera, so, you fire it manually. Okay. So the only thing I can do now, and if, uh, I'm going to fire it manually. I'll show, show you doing that real quick. And then what I want John to do is go show you on the voltage meter where I'm sending this to. All because right. I, can, I can vary it. I let the capacitor. All right, so go ahead longer. and fire it. up to 19 volts and the longer I leave it off the the zener the more I can get a charge into so this is a simple little problem with this motor is that you sense the cap have a comparator fire it and send it to the battery and you can charge your own batteries up really quick and you can see I basically series these to be 12 volts so as we set most of our solar chargers rejuvenators and all that going out at about 15 volts so and, and that's what I got here on these Zeners um, is about 15 volts um, but the impedance change so quickly and they charge so fast it just basically bypasses the cap no longer operates the, the gate on the SCR now, first of all, we want to tell you on this little kit that was handed out at the show, Chuck rewound these coils. You can see which, with much thicker wire. It's about 800 to 850 turns, I yeah. remember, right? Much yeah, like and he's capacitor up. dumping this motor to the batteries. In other words, he just used an SCR. And the circuit's been on the Internet before, and we'll be posting this in the Monopole 3 group because this does not belong in the crystal battery section except for the the battery output section but he can post it in both groups so you know, it's something we wanted to show you and you can see that this battery is just in other words that's where you want a 12 volt battery you want to push it high like that to get every bit back out of it so if he fires it again lets us off for a minute 
just a second here then I'll hold it on the meter you can see the ohm battery drop and then you can see it went up to 17 volts almost when he lets it so if he gets this time and you people get this time you can discharge every so many seconds here and you should be able to drive your battery up to full like this so it's a matter of spending a lot of time if you're going to work in this field you know which this is what we do for a living so you know that's why we're trying to explain this to you that you can do it if you just spend the time doing it so Chuck do you want to say anything else about that I think that's it we just wanted to show you you know some of the stuff we're doing with these alum batteries and what you can do with the motor energizer as well so thanks for watching